Hi there, this is Adam Schmela, Certified Financial Planner and founder of both the RIA, Integrated Planning and Wealth Management, and the workflow consulting firm, Integrated Consulting and Advisory Solutions. You know, as advisors, we know that the client experience is becoming more and more important in the relationships that we have with our clients. We also know that delivering a consistent, exceptional client experience can be what turns ordinary clients into raving fans for your practice. The challenge, though, for most firms is delivering delivering this experience in a streamlined, consistent, and scalable manner. But it can seem overwhelming to try and track all of these things, right? Spreadsheets and documents here, checklists and to-do lists there. The biggest fear that we as advisors face is not knowing what we don't know about where each of our relationships are in the client experience process. So if I were to ask you who on your team is responsible for doing what, when does it need to get done, and for which clients, could you quickly and confidently answer that question? My experience, though, in consulting with over 50 firms over the years is that most can't or at best the data is scattered across uh, multiple different platforms. And, and this is where utilizing the workflows inside of a CRM like Redtail can help create a scalable, transferable system to up-level the client service experience. And by utilizing workflows, what you're doing is systematizing to specialize and delivering that Starbucks-like client experience on FedEx efficiency within your practice. As you can see our workflows were written to be a working, breathing, uh, standard operating procedure inside of your practice. The descriptions, as you can see here, are what I would call specifically vague, meaning that they're specific to the process and subsequent tasks at hand, but vague enough to be applicable across different advisory platforms, custodians, and business models. So let's take a look and see how it works. There are three basic components to any functioning workflow. You have steps, you have tasks within that step, and then you have outcomes. The steps need to be done in order. The tasks within a step can be completed in any order, and the outcomes are the if-then relationship part of the workflow. And this is what we would call the logic of the workflow, right? If this happens, then this is the next step in the process. And, and outcomes give you that opportunity to either progress the workflow, regress it back, or keep it on the same step. And so as you can see, we have a number of steps in this process and pre-assigned due dates and team members assigned to each step and task. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how this would work using the transfer of assets workflow that you're looking at here and how I would take you through the process of attaching this workflow to a contact record to actually demonstrate how we would work the workflow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm in the, I'm on Homer Simpson's contact page here, and I'm actually down into the workflow section of his contact record. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add a workflow. We're going to create a new workflow and we're going to select one of the 60 plus templates that we have in our database here. So we're going to select the transfer of assets workflow. And now from this point forward, everything that I do is going to be customized to this specific client. It does not affect the template here. I'm basically telling Redtail to create a copy of the template, attach it to this contact record, and from here, everything is going to be customized. So this is going to be assigned to my client service team. We can select a category here if we wanted to. Uh, we can go ahead and select a target date. We do see we give it a cheat sheet here of when you should select the target date for this workflow. So this tells us that we're going to do it this we're going to do the start of the workflow. We're going to create the workflow and now Redtail is creating that copy and attaching it to the contact record. Now once I'm inside of the workflow as we can see right here, Now that I have it attached, what I'm able to do is I'm able to document time-stamped and non-editable compliant notes upon the completion of each step. So if I go ahead and complete this step, I can select the outcome that's applicable. And we'll see doing that will automatically punt me down into the next step in the process. And if I go ahead and complete that, here's the, here's the logic of the workflow. So if this happened, then this is the next step that will be used in the process. So let's say that we sent this for DocuSign and I'm just gonna pre-fill some additional information here that I had teed up for this conversation, for this demonstration. And again, I can work through the process here. You'll notice that by me selecting that outcome, it skipped two steps in the process and got down here to confirm transfer of assets. And this is the task at hand that we're verifying the funds have been received. But at any given time, what I can do is I can click on this step notes history here and get a time stamped uneditable history of who did what 
at what time and for which client in this specific process. And keep in mind that you know the, the due dates that you see here are merely suggestions at, and best practices. As curveballs come up, you can always reassign the dates for the tasks as well as reassign who's assigned to the task, but the workflow takes the heavy lifting out of that process by utilizing the information that was in the template that we selected at the beginning. Now, let's say that I wanna get a 30,000 foot view of everything that's going on in my practice. By utilizing the reporting function within Redtail, I can quickly use the filter function to search by a variety of fields, including date ranges, teams, workflow templates, categories, et cetera. And, and what this allows me to do is evaluate my team's progress on all processes going on in the practice with only a few clicks of a mouse. You know, workflows are simple, but, but they're certainly not easy. And what I mean by that is building a system like this takes an incredible investment of time, uh, hundreds of hours to get it to perfection and, and team energy, which can take away from other areas of working on the practice in addition to the time that you'll have to spend working in the practice. And that's where for advisors that choose to work with us, we provide you a paint by numbers instead of a blank canvas. What this means is that we work with Redtail directly to make a copy a complete copy of all 60 plus of our workflows in the database and then move them into your database. Once that's complete, which typically only takes a couple of days, you'll log into Redtail and have a completed functioning workflow library ready for you to use and customize and tweak to your firm's specific needs. And to help you with that process, we've created six pre-recorded training videos that are provided to you upon investment in the system and you'll always have access to them, you know, just in case you need a refresher down the road or you expand and grow your team and you want to have them view the information and the training on how the workflows work. If you still have additional questions and, and want to see a deeper dive on these workflows, please feel free to use the schedule button on our website to set up a discovery conversation. Or if you're wanting to take the next steps with our Redtail workflows, please select the package that best serves your needs from the solutions page at integratedcas.com. You know, workflows really do change the way you think about and run your practice. And our goal with this system is that you get to the place where we are right now in our RIA. You'd really wonder how you ever ran your firm without them.